I'm also one of those who would say, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what would that person feel at that moment, that person who was calling me. So how would you, I mean, what, what would you feel about that? I mean, how would you, manage? How would, how would you, how would you deal with it? <laughs> I mean, do you get disappointed right away or do you get... Uh, emotional right away or maybe you can just cry or say oh I can't believe how cruel these people are how would you handle that because that's me I mean I've I've done that a lot of times already because especially if I'm busy and somebody is just like telemarketing and is that's how you call it right yes is that still how you call it yeah. telemarketing yeah. as soon as somebody would call me said ah I'm too busy I'm not interested and then she would go back again and say how can you say you're not interested while in fact you haven't even heard what I was talking about? <laughs> really? And she was right. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I know. So how would you handle that? How have um, you been doing it me, so far? Uh, since I've been in a call center for two years, i on the process of moving on. Go for the next call. Probably that person, okay. uh, it's not the right time for convincing right. for that kind of product or whatsoever. Then I'm just trying to give time for a moment, then move on for a new call. Okay, so first of all, you have to have a very, very tough, tough heart. <laughs> you don't get affected right away, okay? Parang bato, like a stone, okay? Because if you get too much affected by it, you would just give up easily. But don't, don't give up. Because once you're in this kind of, it's like you're in a bottle. You're there already, you can't give up now because you have to, you have, you, you're there to win. Because me, for example, like me going to a place where like I have to be the one in control, not them. Right? I mean, they would try, but I mean, just like what she said, there's always going to be another customer. So don't put too much, you know, too much time on that person because it just happened to be not the right person. So go on the next one, move on. Good. How about you? For me, it is a challenge and... Be patient for that because okay. that is a part of our job. That's good. Mind. Well, as long as you know that that's a part of the job, that's yes. good. Because if you think that, oh my God, this is so cruel, I mean, I can't make it or whatever, <laughs> and then you just, you know. Uh, taking a nice job is tough. You have to be really tough, yes. just like what I do. But I'm so proud of what I do. Not everybody can do what I do. You know, everybody's been, uh, he knows. Everybody would just punch me or whatever. They would do everything in order to destroy me, but nobody can because I am the one in control. It means to say, this is my job, this is what I wanted to do, and I am going for it, and nobody else can ever stop me. So if you put that in your brain, and then you would yes. definitely succeed, right? Yes. Good. How about you? I think uh, you have some knowledge on the attitude of the client. Right. And if you're taking the call, she's not interested in it. So maybe you can give a call back and you can explain what you were calling about. Okay. But if not, so have the next call. That's true because not everybody yeah. is. You can same. you cannot please everybody. There you go. That's just the word. You can't please the whole world. I was just I was just gonna say exactly the same word, but she did it first before I did. That was the word. You cannot please everybody. You can't please the whole world. But the most important thing is you can. You know, if you can't please this person, I'm sure that there's always going to be another person right there going to be pleased. Otherwise, you wouldn't stay in this job if you know that it's not going to work, right? When you're having uh, different dates, like that's your Philippine and you're calling on the other phone. Yeah, that's so true. So we need to manage. And right, right, right. We must be into it with their individuality and their major characteristics. I know, I know. But sometimes it doesn't matter if they are, you know, from the States or whatever. Because you are in this job to make sure that you level your, yourself to a level where you are the same, right? I mean, you can't let them put you down or something because you're Filipino. You know, just like me when I was in the States or when I was in Canada. I mean, it didn't matter if I was Asian because everybody was just, you know, like a prejudice, you know. If you're Asian, you're lower than them. But for sure, you know, you have to put in your brain that, hey, I'm not different than you, you know. Uh, if you eat rice, well... I eat my rice here or whatever, you can eat your bread, I eat my own bread too, whatever, you know. It's just like, I mean, 
probably just the race or just the color it's a difference but you know as long as we know how to balance ourselves with them we, you know how to level ourselves with them they're not better than us so that's good and how about you yes in this job patience is really a virtue so okay. that's why you need a lot of patience in this work so there's no uh, easy job in this yeah. world so you need to work uh, work hard for it and um, in our uh, in our nature of business um, we don't need to be emotionally attached to right. that job right but right. Uh, we need to have passion in it but we need to have passion in it okay all right virtue Ongaling. virtue you have to put that in your in, in your vocabulary all, all the time virtue patience okay and it's like what he said you don't have to be attached but of course the passion is there that's gonna be actually <laughs> about the seminar I'm gonna be talking about passion okay passion for work he just mentioned it that's very important if you have some passion for your job it means to say you're in it you know you don't have to be totally attached emotionally you know you cannot you cannot just let any, I mean, any disappointments or frustrations turn you down or something, you know. It doesn't have to destroy you, but as long as there's a person there, it means to say you can just go on and on and on and on. It's going to be your battery. Okay. And next? Uh, it's gonna... Hi. How are you? I'm doing just fine. It's just okay. A... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late because oh. there is no... Are Better you? late than never. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yes, because there is no bus to ride in. Yeah, so. we understand. That's good. It was just a matter of one second that you're like late three, anyway. Three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, at least it's just three minutes. Yeah. Usually when I'm late, Not it would take at least an minutes. hour or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you're talking about so what can like you that. what can you share to us? But, but something is not the, so it's hard to motivate something is happening in your life it's hard to motivate you to during the customers or oh. I think one thing that is uh, very important when it comes to this job is professionality okay because you need to handle pe people with uh, professionality because because if you don't they, they will not trust you I know I know they will not you buy have, on you right exactly you should be the one who knows what you are doing you yes. knows what you're explaining whatever because if you don't really uh trust too much i mean if you don't if you cannot trust what you're selling it means to say nobody could ever trust you yes. nobody could ever believe you so you have to make sure that you show them that you believe what you're doing you believe what you're selling right yes. in order for anyone to really buy that product that you have which is very good that's good thank you on me, based on my experience, okay. you should always put a, set aside your emotion from your job. Okay. Take always the risk and always put a smile and thank you. Right. Nobody, nobody could please people. It's hard to please right, everyone. Right. But always put your shoe and understand the situation because all of us has a different mood. That's true. So maybe you're in a bad timing. Right, so you right. Could Step back and relax, right. take a deep breath and right, call it right, right. with a smile. Oh, that's good because sometimes you have to separate your your, your, your problems, especially at home, right? Yeah. Especially at home. Sometimes you got all these problems behind you and, and then all of a sudden you be, yeah. take those at work. Exactly. Well, for me, uh, when I lost my father, that was so tough, you know. Exactly. It's it just hard. so happened when I lost my father and then I had to go out there and do the job. So it means to say I really had to forget that for a moment exactly. because I have a job to do here. So you can't put them all at the same time, you know. You should be so flexible. You have to be very flexible. But then later on, after the job, that's the time when you go back there and then, okay, put all your emotions Face there. again. Exactly. So that's good. You that's have to why say I'm always telling, if you, if right, you right. are on job, if you done with your stuff and roll things inside the house, you should wear your mask. Yeah, that's true. When you go out in your house. Right, right. And that mask could make you enhance and build you mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. preserve your yeah. success. And no matter sometimes, no matter how uh, hard the situation exactly. is, or no matter how angry or how, you know, how emotional oh, you are, yeah, but exactly. then just show the smile, you know, just like in singing. Like in show they business. Don't know. It's like in show business. The show must go on. Exactly. Sometimes like, I hate this person. But then, hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's a mess. So you going to do that? Exactly. It's just, <laughs> you have to learn sometimes your showbiz. Do you want to show showbiz? 
sometimes if you hate your your you know that person you know you just you just you just have to put your you know in your brain so god i hate this person with passion <laughs> right yeah. or whatever but sometimes like sometimes probably you're not in the mood with that person that you're with sometimes or whatever exactly. but yeah, i hate you but with passion with smile you know with smile why yeah, not you exactly. know but you can still say that you hate her or whatever but yeah. at least you know, with passion, at least you would appreciate it because you're saying that, okay, you're cool at least, you know, right? Okay, that's good. How about you? Um, 